If I wasn't a singer, I would be a fairy princess. My goal is to get my music out to as many people as possible. That a song of mine is being played on the radio so far away from home really, really pushes me. It's everything I've dreamed of. I'm learning to accept myself. I'm still in the process of learning to love who I am. And it's been really refreshing and really nice to be able to do that and be okay. I think my fans have brought that out in me. I never really wanted to base success on charts and chart positioning. For me, it's really about the shows and seeing them grow. When I think of artists I love, like J. Cole, it's the storytelling that grabs me. I want to be honest with my music. I always told myself never to have a plan B. I feel like that's also one of the reasons I'm doing what I'm doing now, because I just never really rested until I got here. I spend a lot of time in bed when I'm off. But if I'm feeling adventurous, I'll go to a gallery. Every time you achieve something, you want to go after what's next. I'd like to see my own shows grow and someday be a headliner, fill up stadiums. Social media can sometimes influence the charts, but I think that only great music makes it to the top. The good songs make it. I always wanted the flowiness that hip-hop artists had. I always admired how they rapped so fast, but I never wanted to rap. I wanted to sing the rap. I've always been very much in control of my music and my image, and I think one of the things I've been lucky about is I didn't bring a label on board until I really figured out who I was. The first album I was given when I was quite young was The Woe, Nelly. Album by Nelly Furtado. After, I also got the misunderstood album by Pink. That's when I was like, oh my god, I want to be just like them. For a female artist, it takes a lot more to be taken seriously. If you're not sat down at a piano or with a guitar, you know, 